knowing what you can do with your big ass van if it doesn't run. So if you've got a older van and you've got gearbox problems, we'll show you what you can do. So we were on a farm recently, they had three 24 foot fans, about 15 years old, and replacement parts were terrible expensive. In about six hours, we had swapped parts around and got two of them running. It was the most practical solution to get another couple years of life out of them. So what we did is we pulled the motors off, because he had a bad motor, a bad, three fans, a bad motor, a bad gearbox, and a bad VFD. So we, that allowed us to mix and match and get two of them running. So you need a 10 millimeter wrench, and this is the easiest point to pull it apart. You take all this out and you wiggle, you lift it straight up, because there's a pin here to, to line things up, you gotta lift. But then once it's lifted off, you can check it out. This particular fan was from a different location, but this top bearing went out, because it goes, this is like that, then a big gear goes straight out the bottom to the blades. And this bearing went out so that the shaft came back and it kind of messed the gears up. Um, it could be repaired, the gears aren't that bad, but we're, this is here to show you what you can do. So, so this particular joint, you can hardly separate. You can take the bolts out and you can rotate it, but they have these two shafts are seriously stuck together. So, so the best, that what we've done, we pulled the cap off and we took these rods out and just lifted the shell of the motor right off. We moved the shell from the from the bad motor over to the good gearbox. And then we were off to the races with the one fan and then we moved the variable speed driver around. But we could actually could have, re if you need a replacement variable speed drive, we've got them, that, that's easy. But these old 15 year old gearboxes and parts is where the problem is. So we mixed and matched parts and got it running. So if you, if you want to do that, you're gonna need a 10 millimeter wrench, a, li a little bit of muscle and some grease rags and Check it out, you, you can get one running just by looking and seeing what's wrong. You'll want to fill it back up with like number 90 gear oil. Right here's the plug you can take out. You, you need to really make sure these are full. Because this, with gearbox applications, so this is at the top of this gearbox and it, if the oil isn't there and it's running slow, the oil don't splash up on this gear very well. So that's the problem with gears and big fans because you gotta, you gotta keep the oil really full because you have gears on the top and you got a shaft out the bottom with a seal on. If that seal goes out, the oil just drains out. And then you'll take your gearbox out for sure. Whereas this one was running for about 10 years till the bearing went out. But if that oil, that, the shaft down applications is the issue because if the seal leaks, the oil runs out and you got it, since you have a shaft coming in from the top, it's a big deal. A gearbox will always last longer if you have the shafts coming in from the sides because then the oil level can come down further. Just because of HVLS fan application, gears aren't the wildest thing because as soon as the oil level goes down, you got gears at the top that are expo exposed. So that's why the whole industry is moving towards direct drive fans. And that's what we would recommend. We actually are not an authorized big ass fan dealer, but we will we'll come fix them if you're in about a five hour drive, we'll come out and check them out for you. So if you're outside of that, this is how you do it. We can give us a call. We'll even give you some advice as if there's anything we can do to make it easier for you. But you, what you do need to know is this shaft hardly comes off the motor. It's easier to separate the shell off and, and the, this joint of the gearbox comes across real easy. You'll just need some. When you put it back together, make sure you fill it back up with oil and put some gearbox sealing on so that it don't leak at the joint. So that's what we would recommend on getting your big fan running again.